Hello everybody again. Um, this is going to be basically a walkthrough um, about the, we call it the worm gear mechanism. So basically uh, you'll see the picture again to the bottom left here of the completed assembly. Um, for this one, we're not gonna make you do the whole entire assembly. It can be a little bit uh, strenuous, it just takes some time. So um, if you want to, you can, totally you know, on you, but we are giving you the worm gear mechanism. Um, so the first thing you're gonna see in all company users is the worm gear mechanism. You can do this from here to the, from the documents page. You don't always have to um, open it and do all that kind of stuff. You can just come into copy workspace here uh, after you see it. And I will say, yeah, I'll just leave it as copy. So the first thing you do is make a copy of it. It'll come in um, and you'll see basically that there are all of the constraints. Nothing's in the part studio. You come to the assembly and you'll see all the constraints are already in the mates and all that kind of stuff are in there. If I physically move it myself, um, nothing happens, right? There's no relationship or any of that kind of stuff uh, on where everything was at. So it's important not to mess with that too much because I've already set up, you know, the gaps and all that kind of stuff to be perfect. So just leave that alone. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a relation between two relation or two uh, gears again, basically. So this is a worm gear. The point of this is when the gear turns, this mechanism would move something up and down, kind of like a rack and pinion, just a little bit different. Um, it, it would also act as like an elevator there's a couple different scenarios that this would work um but i digress basically what you're going to do is you're going to come up to gear just like we already did gear relation and then you're going to select revolute one and revolute two and from there um basically you're going to punch in the relation ratio of 0.028 that number is <laughs> calculated um, i'm not going to even go through what that uh how i got that number and that kind of stuff just put 0.028 and you're all set press the green check mark Right click on Revolute. I know you can't see this, but right click on Revolute. Go to Animate. The animation will pop up. Um, I would change this to about 750 maybe. Um, and that just changes the speed, the number of steps it goes through to make it a little slower so you can see it. Press Play. And that goes really, 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 really slow. Um, we can go like 300. Press Enter. Uh, press Play again. It'll go a little bit faster. We can even go like 100. Press play, goes a little bit faster. Um, it's even easier if you want it to go super fast to go to Revolute 2, animate that one, um, and you can punch in like a thousand to this one, and it'll go ultra fast again, or a little bit slower, I should say, or a little bit faster. Uh, if I go half that, it'll go twice as fast. Press play, looks crazy. Um, but I also have it on reciprocate, so it'll go back and forth. You'll see the gear stops and eventually uh, just keeps on going back and forth. Uh, you can do it just a single one. You can do just a, a full loop where it doesn't even, you can't even see the difference. Just keeps going and going and going. Um, but as you can see, basically as I turn this gear, this will go back and back and forth. Well, if I have it under reciprocate, it should go back and forth, but it's not. That's okay. I think it hasn't gone the full 360 yet. It's got to go 100, 360 degrees fully to make one rotation. And it, there we go. See, now it goes back. Uh, we can change this to like 180 so that it goes back and forth faster. Press green check mark. And boom. Just go back. There you go. So again, if I crank this up a little bit faster, you should be able to see it faster back and forth. Yep. So that's the kind of the game plan. And that's what you guys are trying to achieve is basically that back and forth. Um, hope this helps. If you have any questions, as always, ask your teacher.